Hey everybody, Sean here from Shooty School. This is my first bandmate Q&A. Let's get started. I'm going to screen the first question. It's from a fine gentleman named Shooty. Shooty, what is your question? Well, my question is, is why the heck are you doing another bandmate video, Shooty? Well, thank you for the question, Shooty. The reason is, is I'm just trying to buy some time for another day or two as I wrap up a couple scripts for the other tabs in Easy Drummer 3. And since I've really started doing bandmate videos, I've been getting a ton of questions thrown at me. So I figured I'd do this quick video to hold myself and yourself over. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you, Shooty. The second question is from Ron. Ron, thank you for participating on my YouTube channel. And he said, hey, how are the 6, 8, and 12, 8 shuffles digesting in the bandmate? Let's get over to that. I decided since 6, 8, and 12, 8 shuffle feels are not my forte, I pulled up some MIDI files in Easy Bass. Ba -ba. So there's that little shuffle in there. Let's bring this in a bandmate and see what's going on. All right. See these little tiny dots? Those are that shuffle feel right there. Um, all right. Another beat. There's not much to choose from, actually. That's it. That many? All right. It, all right. Metal and pop, and none of them are pulling from my library. Uh, 12 8, 12 8. 11 8. Oh gosh, that's progressive. 12 8. Now that would make sense if that beat came up. All right, I have an insane amount of 12 8 beats, so that, that sounds like an error. 6 8's the other question. He asked about 12 8 and 6 8. An obvious 6 8 shuffle right there. One thing that's, notice how I didn't get prompted, like what tempo are you at and what time signature are you at? That's MIDI files, I've been noticing this, this the past few days, MIDI files are fantastic because if the manufacturer embeds the time signature and the tempo into the metadata, bandmate doesn't have to ask any questions. Look, 6-8 auto-filled, the tempo auto-filled. Let's see how we do with the 6-8. Okay. Uh, ace in the hole, I mean, it sounds real static, but that's, typically what we're going for. That feels better and it's starting to pull from my actual libraries now. Now it's not. Here we go. That makes sense. And I'm not even sorting my blues yet. Here's blues. All right. I, I ace in the hole right there. There's just something wrong with the 12-8. So I think there's just a disconnect and that's a bug that I bet it will get fixed because we brought the 6-8 in and it was ace in the hole. Thank you, Ron. Who do we got? Amir, has it any jazzy presets? If not, how can I use it for jazz music? Okay, just the word jazz is so open to interpretation. It's ridiculous. So let's at least try and get you a ballpark answer. I'll get it from Easy Keys. Here's a supposed jazz riff. That's in 4.4. And if you guys don't know yet, when you import a MIDI file, you kind of have to choose a tone for it. So is that a jazz drum beat? It's definitely not. But we have a jazz filter down here. Now what's cool is it's not pulling from my library, that's just bandmate's beat, I believe. Until I know better. Alright, so, so that's kind of impressive. Now it's actually pulling beats from my libraries. So Amir, keep this in mind. Let me switch over to my other computer. On this computer, I have my entire arsenal. Every Easy X, half of the SDXs, and quite a few drum MIDI files. I don't know if you're new or not, but anyone who's listening, if you just have Easy Drummer 3 and nothing else, you only have so many beats to choose from. So let's hop over to my other computer, which only has Easy Drummer 3, and see if that can actually come up with some results that someone just getting into the cartoon track, uh, you know, would experience. They wouldn't experience my entire catalog. They would experience this. I believe this is the same lick. Let's drop it into Bandmate. It's the same lick, just a different sound generator. I need to keep this up so I remember to put my face back on. 
and we still have a jazz genre that we can click on. So this is stock easy. I don't see any easy drama three beats though. It's just all bandmate fabricated beats. All right, I mean, certainly jazzy enough. That's good enough for you. Then we, uh, you know, bring it over to edit play style and start manipulating it. Or oh, we bring it over to the grid editor and we start really tearing it apart. So I don't know. You be the judge. That's the best I have with only throwing two or so minutes at it. I hope that's at least a little informative to you. Amir was from YouTube. Edward, Eduardo and Edgar from my Facebook group and, and from YouTube. They've been really hammering it down on my Facebook group, which I appreciate, guys. They asked me kind of a similar question. Is there a way to pick a library from which bandmate pulls from? And Edgar says, you know, I've yet to see any proof that bandmate searches through my entire library content. Look at this mock-up that I did. If you look on the left side, I'm in my grooves page and I have a pretty big MIDI arsenal here and I've right-clicked on every folder and I've selected exclude. The only thing I have is my leftover user MIDI test folder and there's only one beat so according to easy drummer 3 no matter what i search for it only has one beat to give me back that's it doesn't matter where i search anywhere from the program i have excluded my entire midi catalog except for this one beat in this one folder so if i go over to bandmate throw a groove in there as you can see on my grooves tab everything's excluded yet it's still bringing me back results and it's still pulling results from easy x the classic i mean I have the classic, wherever the heck it is, the classic right there, it's excluded from the search. So no, you cannot control how bandmate searches right now. By the way, this entire video's worth of information, this is Easy Drummer 3.0. We're only one week into the release. Any of this can change in future updates. Right now, the answer is definitely not. Edgar said there's no proof that bandmate searches through his entire catalog. And and you're right. And you know what? I, th I, I think this pop rock country let's let's go to something obvious i have a jazz easy x there's like 15 beats here to choose from half of them are fabricated from bandmate not even from my catalog and my jazz easy x probably has hundreds and hundreds i don't even know how many but hundreds so it's safe to say for now it's definitely not doing that edgar but let's be patient and see what tune track does i mean i just found a bug live with that 12 8 thing right now you know they're going to get to this stuff let's hopefully they take some of these limiting things that aren't broken and bring them further we'll see what happens to further take eduardo's question further here's another file and if we look, I did the opposite. And, and instead of excluding library folders, I instead went after tags instead. These used to be called filters in Easy Drummer 2. I think they're calling them tags now. I've been saying filters nonstop for eight years. Question for you guys, are these tags or filters? And as you can see, I've excluded everything except for my electronic Easy X. And if I start Bandmate over, drag the same riff back in just to wake it up. This is pulling from my blues Easy X. And like I just said, look, there's my blues uh, genre um, X'd out and excluded. So definite no's for now, okay? This next one's from K. He said he saw a video about bandmate responding well to Gent, which is like a type of highly syncopated metal. How would it fare with tremolo picking? And um, he didn't specify where he saw this Gent video. I mean, I looked one up real quick. That was the best result. This dude, Music with Marky, has a Ken Easy Drummer 3 bandmate, Gent, and I watched a couple seconds of his, of his video. I'll watch it later. Maybe you're interested in it. Check out Music with Marky. K wants to know if we can tremolo pick, which is basically like, you know, do a 16th note, da -da 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 -da, and then double time it <laughs> type thing, like a lot of uh, thrash metal, European, you know, the speed metal guys. A lot of genres do some sort of tremolo picking at some point, and some genres specialize it. Oh, you need my face back. Um, I'm glad I noticed. Gosh, it'd be awful if I had to reshoot this. I haven't slept in like a week, guys. I'm trying to push the channel. Help me out, guys. Um, do comment, or if you, or if I've ever like completely upped your game and made your day, consider contributing. But do comment on my videos. That's really important because lately I've been inviting some important people to the channels and saying, "Hey, 
I'm doing all right, check this out. And they see all these comments and, and they help me out and they help push me. Uh, you're going to see a couple collaborations coming up soon. And it's because you guys are commenting. I appreciate it so much. All right, so here's Tremola picking and it didn't catch the tempo. Here's, look, what I did was I recorded 16th notes at 120. Like I'm, I haven't been playing guitar. I'm not like a muscle built guitar player anymore. I played 16th notes at 120 and then I double timed them artificially to 32nd notes at 120. Just so you know, there's my disclaimer. But anyway, it's not catching my tempo. I know it's at 120, so let's put 120 in there, all right? Um, whatever, it tempo detected and slapped a beat on there. I mean, that works. Probably not what we're looking for. This is not a tremolo picking beat. And of course, it's in the default pop, so let's just go right to metal, guys. I mean, these aren't the style of beats I would expect to hear under tremolo picking. I would expect to hear blast beats or a backbeat with crazy fast double bass. Um, variations of um, upbeat punk snares with what doing crazy stuff. You know, let's let's double time the tempo. 240. Let's select the genre. All right, metal still left over. Sorry, I almost left without doing obvious stuff. Let's double time the tempo. All right, well, we got the snare to double time, but... <coughs> All right, that's closer. I have a huge catalog of stuff. I have a ton of beats that will work for this. Even though I have a preference, I feel like there's some obvious stuff that should go under tremolo picking. This is not it, though. Uh, I wouldn't mind slamming through this just to see what it comes up with because there are some options in here. What's 120 plus 240 to 360? <laughs> I think we're losing our pocket at this point. All right, Kate, that's at least a first impression for you, okay? Jack over at my Facebook group. Thank you, Jack. This is going to be something I delve into more and more with my channel. And here's just an introduction, you know, the solution to Jack's problem. Here's just a tiny little tidbit of it. Jack said something like, hey, can we get fills or intros and outro licks, which are way different than choruses, pre-choruses and bridges and stuff like that. Can we get special types of beats out of the bandmate sorting? And I, I I think it's safe just to say no, but let's just talk for a minute about how to work around it because as you saw earlier in this video, I can't just select fills and then go over to bandmate <coughs> and do a redrop and get fills results, right? Even though fills is selected, these are just beats. Let me just try and inspire you because who knows what the skill level of people that are watching this are, you know, these type, this workflow is not even my style workflow. I'm just intrigued with the software. So let's just say you lack a lot of options, not you, Jack, whoever's watching. Let's just say you lack options in figuring out how to get fills going and you're really dependent on bandmate. A lot of people are, it's so popular. That's why I'm enjoying just tearing it apart. Not because I'm trying to defeat it, but because I want to figure out how you can optimize it. Okay. Let's pretend we have a riff in this funk riff I've been playing for three videos straight is is your riff and you and this is the song you want to do so let's use this riff twice for two reasons one for the beat you want two for the fill you want okay and let's play pretend this is the beat you like so let's drag it down here and preserve it and then get rid of it now go over to groove now that we have fill selected let's select four four let's get our our, our sorting down and let's go funk and now let's find a quick fill Great. Let's grab this fill, detach the panel, go back to bandmate, drag this fill over. And now we got to use our, I'll put the panel back in. Now I got to use my imagination a little bit. You know, this, this was the beat we were hearing earlier. Right? So just imagine that beat. And then when this fill comes up, imagine this fill merging with the beat.
I mean, <laughs> I, I lucked out. I lucked out. That was just luck. That is actually a really good fill. So let's say we painstakingly went through a bunch of fills and then came up with, with that good sounding fill. Then I could go down to this bead, peel it back, the measure it is, and bam. That's an error right there. Let me remove that. So, so now here's a way to construct a beat. That actually, that whole situation actually worked really smooth in my favor, luckily, because I'm trying to get out of here. Probably not so much for you, but trial and error to build it up. Plus, I'm in standalone mode right now. You could actually have this up in your DAW with your lick playing behind this and really, and really understand auditioning this little hybrid beat we just made. I'll just merge it together. That's, that's not even the solution. That's just... That's one trick to get a, a fill from your grooves tab into the bandmate playing with your riff that's already in there. But step back for one sec and just take note that if bandmate's not doing what you're doing, I should have done this with the tremolo picking. Bandmate's not giving you what you want from its audition files. I mean, and you want to hear it with your riff right away? Just go to the grooves tab, sort, find a, find a riff that you think will work and drag it right in there. You know, whatever it is, just drag it in there and then find out for yourself. There's a million ways to do it if you're already in a DAW. You can audition things the other way. But if you want to stay in bandmate for the moment, Drag another drum beat right in there. It's Sean from Shooty School. I already gave you my rant. I appreciate the support from everybody. Um, life is fantastic. Uh, do subscribe. I would appreciate your comments. And why don't you put more bandmate questions down below. If I have the knowledge or the skill set to test it out, um, I'll certainly consider doing that. If not, you know, at least reply to you. So rock on.